Welcome everyone to your manifestation video for June. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new. Welcome, welcome guys. Okay guys, going straight into this, we're doing the four signs. You're in perfect alignment with the universe. Um, this is talking about now you have entered or getting ready to enter that vortex. Okay, it means that you're between your physical self and higher self and you are recognizing this when you, number one, right? Number one. We're getting out the cards over here. We're going to use this deck first. Soul wants you to know. Next message. Yes. When you feel enthusiastic about life in itself, that's where that joyfulness, that limited joy is coming out. When you feel fulfilled, when you feel like you have everything that you need, um, beautiful, beautiful, having that pleasure coming out. My life is deliciously joyous. This one is, I celebrate everything in my life and I live with limitless joy. So you're going to feel this empowered feeling of feeling very joyful, excited, passionate, feeling like you are full, right? There's nothing I'm missing from my life. Not feeling like I have emptiness or living without anything. I feel not needy. I have everything that I want and I feel grateful for it. Okay, so definitely having the delight. I delight in everything in my world and divine joy fills me. Wow. Okay, so let's see what we say over here with the manifestation cards. Clarify on the first sign, please. Yes, being your brilliant self. Be great today. Be brilliant. This card asks you to get in touch with your extraordinariness of everyday living. Go about your daily life doing everything to the very best of your ability. Be extraordinary and in an ordinary way. Your brilliance will radiate into the world, creating more change than you can possibly imagine. So when you are entering this vortex or you feel like maybe I am in this vortex, I'm getting ready to kind of quantum leap over here. I know my blessings are getting ready because I am aligned with the universe, right? This is that not feeling like you need anything to be happy. You just want more and allowing more to come quicker, manifesting things easier knowing your brilliant self and things will manifest quicker. Why? Because I'm not needy. I am full of joy. I am full. My cup is full. I am the ace of cups. I mean, if we were see that right now, we would see that ace of cups, right? So definitely feeling like the world is changing for you, feeling like, you know, I'm dancing with the universe and there it is. The ace of cups with the three of pentacles. Why? Because you are in link with yourself, your higher self, right? And the divine. So having that divine link, being aligned, right? Ready for the give and receive, knowing that I am pushing out all this energy and it will return to me because that is the law of attraction, right? It's also the law of balance, right? So there is a, a law called balance. What I put out there, I have to get back because of balance. So we want to make sure that we're doing a balancing act, right? Because I'm not in lack of anything, so this is saying leading a spiritual life does not mean living in lack. This card asks you to release any underlining beliefs that you may hold regarding entitlement or worthlessness or worthiness or worthlessness. Yeah. Um, that may be blocking your ability to receive. When you have an abundance of wealth, both inner and outer, you will have the abundance to give and share with others. Talking about that what? That six of pentacles. Keeping that balance, keeping that rotating cycle, right? The snake kind of eating its own tail because that's the way the universe works. And yes, when you are aligned, you're definitely going to be receiving things quicker because you know that's where I am. That's, you know, so getting on to the next one. I know they're kind of jumbled here. Try to keep them together as much as possible in their own little area. Okay, so going to the next sign. So that is how you know that you are starting to enter or have entered this vortex. Right? Complete joy and satis the satisfying energy of I don't need anything. Number two. Okay. 
number two. Emerging. I am emerging into the light with joy and ease. I love this sun there because when we're emerging, we can also feel like we have clear thoughts. We have the creativity of the sun. So when you feel like you have this creative and clear thought and just attracting good ideas, you will know, right, that you are walking in your power. I am a radiant, glorious, powerful being, really feeling that power, knowing that that power is there, feeling very creative. You guys might even be feeling very intuitive as you're waking up. So you do have the awakening here. I am joyously awake and aware and ready of anything. And that really is the sign of number two is creativity, clear mindedness, clear thought, nothing blocking, nothing is blocking my mind or blocking me from anything. I seem to be able to, you know, because I am awake, I'm aware my intuition is high and I'm going with those gut feelings. Um, I can definitely figure out things quicker, right? Knowing that, yeah, you know. I, I definitely, you know, don't feel like I'm at any kind of, um, any kind of crossroad, right? Because all of a sudden it feels, it's kind of like I feel because I'm awake, I'm a genius, having those kind of genius, right, genius ideas coming, like, oh my gosh, I mean, gifts ever felt like in your life, you know, like, especially even right now, I mean, but, but if you're entering again, it's that idea of like, oh my gosh, I don't. How did I even think about that? I can't believe that. I must be a genius, right? Well, that's you being aligned. Open yourself to the possibilities. Almost everyone holds some limiting belief about themselves. These perceptions block us from receiving the infinite support of the universe. This card is the invitation to reassess and look beyond these limitations and to recognize that in opening yourself to possibilities, you automatically invite positive changes into your life, right? So you can definitely... Right, because now it's in your, you've got this understanding of this awakening. You're starting to feel like, oh my gosh, everything is going in my direction. Right? This is how I know I'm starting to enter this vortex. This is how I know I'm starting this manifestation process. This is how I know that things will start manifesting for me because I am noticing these things. Yep, there it is, manifesting through transformation. So understanding that there is this ending and this beginning and actually feeling like you are transforming. Your thoughts are transforming. You're being able to manifest, you know, manifest things quicker, holding the keys and all the tools um, and having that infinite of possibility. There it is again, right? That infinite possibility that anything can happen. Like, so it's like, there we go. Beautiful. Three. Tell us what's going on with three, please. Third sign. There's so many signs. I think there's a lot of signs. I mean, I think there's like, you know, seven or eight signs all together. I'm just picking the ones that I have here. Um, this is playfulness. My joy is the greatest gift that I can give to others. Focus, all my thoughts are directed towards the highest good. Um, I just want you guys to understand, though, too, that your focus is going to change, right? Um, your focus is going to change, and things are going to catch your attention, okay? Things are definitely going to change your, uh, catch your attention. It could be that you start hearing a favorite song, right, on the radio, pops up. Things that you're drawn to, things that you really enjoy, things that make you feel playful, right, um, and music is usually a lot of the, you know, the big one as well, right? <clears throat> Things that are going to fulfill your life and make you feel like, you know what, this is where I feel, this is what I love. So, when you know, when you're, you're um, aligned to the universe, definitely miracles are going to start occurring. And it might even feel like a miracle, like, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about that song and now all of a sudden it's playing. Oh my gosh, I was just thinking about that person calling me and now they're calling me. Um, things of this nature is natural um, for these things to occur. 
Okay, so that is definitely this the third. Hold on. My cards got stuck over here. <laughs> that is definitely the third sign uh, that you are aligned. Um, let's see. It's like they're getting stuck. Why are you sticking? Okay, so yeah, definitely feeling that pleasure. In what, no matter what, there is this very pleasurable feeling because you're going to feel warm right? And you're going to feel aligned because you're going to feel like I'm in the right place at the right time and everything is going on. And, you know, even when negative things hit, it just seems like I can, you know, get things back into control very quickly because I'm not going to allow that to be my overall reaction for a long time, right? I understand, you know, what's going on. And this is also going to open up those opportunities and uh, really start manifesting a lot of your daydreams. Like I said, you're going to notice small things coming, like, you know, maybe you want an ice cream and then all of a sudden, you know, something you really, really enjoy. Um, and then maybe your friend or some, you know what I mean? Somebody comes over and says, hey, you want to go get some ice cream? Or I bought you, you know, I brought you a Starbucks or, you know, something of this nature. It's really things like that. Hearing, seeing, and receiving things that you really, really, truly do care about. Um, Songs are really a big one, though. I do know that because it just seems like when I'm really in alignment, uh, my favorite songs always come out, right? And then it just feels like everything just kind of is just really falling together. So the fourth one is is a big one. I think, you know, and I think that this right here, the music thing really is a kind of a telltale sign of, of it um, because it just seems like it just comes out of nowhere, like no way that that's playing right now, right? Um, in the grocery store or, or at a friend's house or just anywhere. Um, and there's things just kind of, just little things just start coming towards you. It's just kind of crazy. And it's like, no way, right? Um, so be aware of that. A lot of times we don't even notice it. Um, this one's going to be embracing. Number four, I embrace and love all of my life. So you're going to feel like this embracing, like you want to embrace everything. Um, but you also have to understand that it's really crazy because there's going to be a lot of action being taken, you know, um, taking place. So I step into my glorious future with determination and power. So you're going to feel like there's a lot of action and a lot of things you're going to want to do. And the crazy thing about four is that every action that you're putting out there is going to put you in the limelight. Right. It's going to be a limelight moment for you. OK, so it does feel like you are going to become noticed. Right. People are going to notice you. You're vibrating at a higher um, vibration than normal, right? That's the vibration we're supposed to be vibrating at. That is it. That's what we're supposed to be at, that vibration. Um, but this is just, you know what, just looking good. And this is going to also be that moment in life when it's kind of like you look in the mirror and you're like, wow, man, for somebody who woke up, didn't brush their teeth or do their hair, I'm looking pretty good right now. Right, because it's that self-love and really loving ourselves um, for sure. So you're also going to find that a lot of opportunities with all the action that you're taking are just going to kind of fall into place. Once again, there it is. There's those miracles coming in. Things are looking different. My, you know, your confidence level is so high and people are attracting this energy from you. And they're going to want to give you jobs. They're going to want to take you out to dinner. They're going to want to be around you. Um <clears throat> excuse me, right? Because you're releasing any negative habits, right? You, they don't really see any negative habit. You're not seeing any negative, you know? It doesn't mean you're perfect and you still don't see some negatives. It's just that overall, you're going to see higher confidence within yourself and you're going to admit that to the people that you're, that you're working with. They're going to be like, wow, you're looking good today. You'd be like, thanks, I feel good today. You know, like sin sincerely though, you know, like, wow, you know, and you're really walking your talk over here and you're just like, yeah, I'm really embracing it. Signs and synchronicities, you know, and I think it's crazy because I think signs and synchronicities is probably the overall biggest one of any time that you're in alignment with the universe, you're going to see these signs and synchronicities that actually bring everything in. So I would say the signs and synchronicities is the overall or everything. Because no matter what, we always, for the outcome, yes, for the outcome, is the overall, right? And that's because you have the intentions and you're going to start seeing your intentions popping up, like I said, whether they're small or big, because that's where things are coming in with miracles. Yep. 
Because it's going to start feeling like miracles. And this is because you've let go of a lot of things gracefully. Just let it go. Surrender to the universe. Let it, you know, do its thing. Um, so that's really the fourth one is really just saying everything is okay. And you know what? I'm looking great. And uh, everybody is going to be really attracted to you because positive attra uh, energy attracts, you know, pretty much everybody. Right. So and you're definitely going to be looking at long term views. You have views in your mind, goals, and you're going to see a lot of positive feedback. Um, you know, and a lot of times when we're in this this um, this higher vibration and being in this vortex, you're going to see a lot more better outcomes, a lot more positive feedbacks, a lot more coming at you then you might be like, wow, am I wearing some kind of like lucky charm? Yeah, you are. It's called you. It's called you and your higher self. It's called you vibrating at the energy that you're supposed to be vibrating at, in which we all really should be. But uh, we live in a place of duality. So there's going to be ups and downs no matter what. But at this time, this is how you know you're really vibrating and really have that growth around you and that you're super aligned or getting ready to align yourself. Uh, with the universe and that's because you let go and surrendered so much and just became at peace within yourself and remember anytime we vibrate towards these things it's not so much that we're being rewarded so much with the universe is as it is really being in alignment with the universe to receive right what we've been manifesting so you could say it's a reward but in a lot of ways it's not really it's already really yours right it's really yours already um, it's just about getting to that meeting up with that vibration of the universe to get what it is that you've been planting, right, for the overall reward itself and opportunities. And it just feels like when you're aligned, you get, there's a more of an abundant feeling. You they just, you seem to get a lot more. You see people like this a lot, though, too, guys. Um, a lot of times you can say, oh, my gosh, how do they get things all the time? They're probably you know, more aligned to the universe than you realize. There's no really such thing as luck. It either is or it's not, right? That's it. There's really not, it's either you're vibrating at a certain energy or you're not, right? That's it. Just like there's no coincidence. Coincidences do not exist. Luck really does not exist. Luck is about being aligned or getting your karmic rewards. That's it. That's what luck is right? So if we really think about aligning ourselves to where we are, then we receive the rewards that we put out there. We plant those seeds and we get what we need. Um, luck is by chance, but you have to say, is it really luck or was it, you know, rewards? So, because really, you know, it's like time. Time doesn't really exist. Time is almost about the fracture of what luck is <laughs> and a coincidence. Meaning that there is some, right, coincidence, there is some luck, and there is some time. But in overall, none of it exists, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I know that's food for thought, right? I know. Always like to confuse you before I leave. <laughs> Till next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.